become one of those people that makes a huge impression the first time you meet them. Learn to stand out and be that magnetizing person that people really want to be around. This can lead you to unexpected opportunities, promotions and friendships. My name is Johan Peterson and today we'll talk about how you can make yourself memorable and make a lasting impression. Make yourself stand out whenever you meet people. And there are of course good and bad ways of making yourself memorable. And making yourself memorable in a good way can lead to opportunities you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Whether you have an upcoming job interview, starting a new job, or just meeting new people, make yourself memorable and stand out from the crowd. In this video, we'll talk about how you can do just that. The tips you'll be getting in this video you can use in any interaction with people around you. It will ensure a lasting impression. And make sure you get it right the first time. Be extra mindful the first time you meet new people. First impressions last and they are really hard to change. Take a second to think about the people that are truly memorable to you and what makes them memorable. And now let's dive straight into the 12 things that will make people remember you. Introduce yourself. A stretch for introverts, but you need to get in the habit of introducing yourself to others. And when you are, act like you own the place and be the first to say hello to others. You should also be able to tell others what you do in a clear, concise manner. When you do this, you set yourself apart from everyone else. Language has great power. Instead of introducing yourself as working in marketing, introduce yourself as the company marketing guru. You become memorable by expressing yourself in your own terms. Remember people's names. Make it a point to remember people's names. There is one word you can say to someone that will make them happier than any other word, and that is their name. So make a real effort to remember people's names and use it every time you meet them. Always keep a positive body language. Do this by remembering the soften method. Smile, open posture, forward lean, stay out of their territory, eye contact and nod to show understanding. Pay full attention. Make people feel important by paying full attention to them. Make them feel like they're the only person in the room. Make a point out of showing other people that you enjoy talking to them. Be enthusiastic and curious. Listen, really listen to others. Ask their opinion on things. People are intelligent and can tell when someone is pretending to be interested in them. So be genuine and passionate whenever you talk. Listen with intent, intent to understand, not to reply. If you're finding value in this video, please take a second to hit that like button. Use humor. Display your sense of humor, but don't overdo it. And nothing that can be sensitive or offensive to others. Mirror. As best you can, try to mirror people's energy levels and communication styles. This will build rapport way faster. Give. Contribute value. Because people remember kindness. People who stand out are adding value to others without expecting anything in return. Nowadays, Everyone is so self-centered that this alone will make you stand out. Be positive. Genuinely positive people make an impression. Make it a habit to have a positive outlook. A can-do attitude only looking forward. If you haven't noticed already, everyone tries to stay clear of negative people. With a positive attitude, you'll become more attractive and someone that people want to be around. Compliment others. Compliment others for what they're saying, what they're wearing or what they're doing. It needs to be sincere though. Don't say something you don't mean. Be you. Be clear on who you are and be consistent. Repetition creates memorability. Tell stories. Everyone loves stories. So connect with people through their imagination. Some of us are born storytellers. Others need to practice. There is one exception to this rule. The only time you don't want to tell stories, unless they are really, really short, is when you talk to someone who's straight to the point or just want the facts. Follow up. After meeting someone, don't leave it at that. If appropriate, follow up with a text or an email, thanking them for their time or great conversation. If you found value in this video and want to get more content around career and personal growth, please subscribe. You'll find the subscribe button down here somewhere. Anyway, those were the things you should work on when meeting people. 
and remember to be extra mindful when meeting someone for the first time. And note that this video is divided into chapters, so you can go back and watch specific parts of it later. Thank you so much for watching and see you all again in a week.